Good afternoon, my dear postmaster and guests. Welcome you all. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Today I have a battle. I need to fight with my own nervousness. Uh, let's see how well I fight with this. Uh, we all always want something in life. We need some change. If you own a bike, we wish to have a car. If you have a car, we wish to have a flat. And we have a flat, we need something else. The list goes on. Like this, I born in a middle class family and my father was a government employee. Being a son of government employee, I should feel lucky that I have minimal basic things in life. Right. I never felt happy, I never felt lucky. I always fascinated with the other world. I want to be rich, I want to be doing some business, I never want like the student life. Life was going like that. I studied industrial production engineering during my bachelor's degree and I was a moderate student. Being less competition in industrial production engineering, I was able to get into a master's degree in IIT, Premier Institute like IIT. But as I told, my attitude was to unhappy with the limitations. I wanted to join a corporate world. I was fascinated with software industry. I felt like I should have studied computer engineering. So with this mind, I attended off-campus off placements uh, in my third year, and I, I was not prepared well for the off-campus placement. Luckily, I was able to complete my written test, and then interview came. I was not also confident on interviews, but luck favored me. One of my friends has discussed a few of the interview puzzles that generally Infosys ask in an interview. Luckily, few of those questions were asked in an interview, interview, and I cleared the exam. So now I felt so happy. I felt like, you know, I was in a heaven. I got my offer letter in Infosys, and finally I enjoyed my life again. Till now, till those years, I was unlucky with my limitations. Now with the fine air, I felt like I will have a more greener life in future. On a fine day, I entered into Hyderabad campus. It was a huge acre of greenery and very sophisticated buildings and beautiful cricket ground and world class facilities like gym, spa, swimming pool and everything. It was like heaven for everybody in my batch. So for the first week of induction, we felt like we are the most luckiest person in this world. But soon after one week, we realized that the difficulty of training is not so easy. And then struggle started, battle started. It was worse than a student life. So for the five months, everybody was crying, and then people who were topper in college used to flunk in Infosys training. Because people like in mechanical and industrial production engineering, they can't pass JDE or Java within three days. So everybody understands the liberation of life again. Somehow we struggle the battle for five months and we cleared our training. Now there ends the happiness become more than what we used to have when we got selected in Infosys. Now that happiness did not last for even for one week. And then some of us posted with Chandigarh. So I felt so unlucky that I should have posted in Hyderabad or Bangalore because my priority was Bangalore or Hyderabad. So, and then I heard that out of 500 of my batch, only 20 were posted in Chandigarh. This made me to think even more. <laughs> so, why only 20 out of 500? I am again unlucky. So, I went to Chandigarh. Out of these 20 people, within a week, they said they don't have projects, and 14 people were traveled back to Hyderabad. I wish I was in that list, but I was not in that list. <laughs> <laughs> I was only in the six people who were left out in Chandigarh. I felt like something is going wrong. I would have at least joined an IIT and then I would have been happy uh, doing the same thing. So, that's fine. Limitations are all always there. So, for one year, I spent on bench in Chandigarh without having any work and I'm not interested in higher studies. I passed my one year time and then I came back to Hyderabad. I asked for a project. I joined in a project because I was in bench for one year. Will be hectic for me because I was in Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> and then time went for almost two years, and I needed change again because that was not giving me any happiness. Then I looked for an answered opportunity. I got an answered opportunity and I traveled to UK. So for one year in UK, I enjoyed the life of the max. I traveled a lot, I drove whatever the car I want, I took the rent, and then I drove, I had a lot of perks, and then enjoyed parties and everything. After one year, I can't stay for the long time. I came back to India. Now I asked for a project change. For production support too, I changed into development. Now parents had asked me to marry because that is also a good change in life. 
I was ready for the change and then I engaged you a girl. So after engagement, I screwed up my work before getting married itself because of <laughs> long calls and everything. So once, once I started working and then I went on a marriage vacation. My luck again unfavored me, one of my onset counterpart and resigned the job. And unluckily, we were the only two guys who were working in a single module. And for this reason, I had to cancel my vacations and I had to join the project again. So, I don't have any time for my personal life after getting married. I was very frustrated with the work I have. Again, I have a lot of limitations in doing work. And life went for five months without having any personal life and then with the project deadlines. At the end of five months, I got a call from my delivery manager. He asked me to travel to New Zealand. So I felt so lucky that you know at least I'm going to New Zealand, but I was not lucky because I can't take my wife because it was a short assignment. So I went to New Zealand and then life went for three months. I did not enjoy much in New Zealand. And after three months, the board got extended and I felt happy that I got my wife to New Zealand on a six month period of vacation. So she was on leave for six months and then I got a very good time in New Zealand and I enjoyed the life there also by traveling and enjoying the life. After six months, time comes where I have to go back. I have only two options, either my wife has to resign the job or I have to resign the job and go back. So I resigned my job and then I resigned in New Zealand out of Infosys and came and joined a consultancy in Bangalore. So once I joined a consultancy in Bangalore, there was no project for them. So I felt again unhappy for that. And then within a one month, I got a call from Oracle. They said that you cleared the exam, uh, uh, cleared interviews three months back. I didn't understand why Oracle is taking three, four months. They are calling up four months of training back for you. <laughs> I felt okay, they would have called me at least one, one month before. So, but I took a bold decision. I resigned my consultancy job and joined an Oracle. I felt so happy, my wife and me felt so happy that you know, everything went fine for me. And I, I heard that even the New Zealand assignment was ended for Infosys. And I felt the decision that I took that day was very good. So finally I joined an Oracle. The happiness was all around my family. And within one month of such happiness, Oracle said we have to travel to Saudi Arabia. <laughs> 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 then I felt like mad. Everything, everything is going in and out. And then suddenly I went to Saudi Arabia and luck again favored me. The project was on hold and I came back to Bangalore and I'm waiting for the project to come back. So what I want to tell is everything. Life is all about shocks. Uh, if what we need to learn is we need to observe the shocks. Either, either good or bad, do your work and the rest will follow you. Thank you. Thank you for giving up. So we go on to our next speaker. Our next speaker is Pumima. She is editing her PA speech. To evaluate her speech, let me call upon her evaluators and the judges Anil. Thank you, Toastmaster. Good afternoon, Toastmasters and guests. Good afternoon. Pumima is going to attend her PA speech, which is one of the important and finest speech in the content communicator. The objectives of this speech are. Select visual aids that are appropriate for your message and the audience. 